Good Monday, everyone. This is meteorologist Dave Snyder at the National Weather Service with Alaska Statewide Weather. Low pressures working up across the north and western Gulf, moving over the Alaska Peninsula this afternoon with some stronger gusts at some of the higher elevations there. Gusts around 1 to 2,000 feet have been working in the 60 to 70 mile an hour range over areas close to Port Lyons and the Alaska Peninsula. Looking north and west, coming out of the Chukchi Sea is a 1,006 millibar low. That is pushing warm air northward across the Arctic coast and creating areas of blowing and drifting snow there. No warnings out at this point, but on the south side of that, snow is developing around the western tip of the Chukchi, uh, Chukchi Sea coast and along the western tip of the Seward Peninsula. A long area of low pressure stretches all the way from the Gulf of Anadir across St. Matthew through the Pribilovs, and along that boundary is where we'll see some of the colder air move to quickly as we head into tonight and tomorrow. Looking across the west coast from St. Lawrence Island eastward and into Norton Sound and Kotzebue Sound, watch for more and more snow to develop as we go through the nighttime hours. Some pockets of light freezing rain should be expected across the lower Kuskokwim Delta and into the upper valley itself. Uh, there is a freezing rain advisory that is in effect from 6 o'clock until 9 p.m. as we head into tomorrow. And that will include places like Sparavon and points westward downriver. Across south central, watch for areas of snow and rain to mix, maybe even some light freezing rain across the Anchorage area and the bowl, as well as some of the valleys. Uh, look for that uh, any any accumulation to be fairly light as we go into Tuesday. Most of the snow across the Susitna Valley uh, will continue as we head into Tuesday night. Across the Arctic coast, a 996 millibar low will pass Barrow as we head into Tuesday afternoon, uh, bringing in more of a north and westerly flow to the Chukchi Sea coast. With that, watch for increasing areas of strong and gusty winds across the northwest coast and more opportunities for blowing and drifting snow for the central and eastern Beaufort Sea coast. Snow continues to spread eastward through the interior from Tuesday afternoon into Wednesday, bringing a better chance for snow for places like the middle Tanana Valley and Fairbanks. Pockets of rain and snow showers will continue across south central. No major accumulation is expected at this time. Low pressure across the central and northern Gulf will push rainfall into southeastern Alaska after a couple dry days. Pockets of snow across the Copper River Basin and across higher terrain of southeast with snow showers continuing for the Bering and areas of rain across the Aleutians. With Alaska statewide weather, this is meteorologist Dave Snyder. Find us online anytime at weather.gov and always on NOAA Weather Radio.